Hey guys, this is Esther. Welcome back to my channel. Today, come along with me as I work in my journal. I'm very behind, so I will be working on a baby shower I went to in April. I printed some pictures of the baby shower, and then I want to use some of the papers that I used uh, for the baby album I made to gift to the mom and dad. So let's get started. For this spread, I'm only going to use one page. I later thought I should have used like another page where I could use two pages but then in the end it turned out fine because everything did fit in one page so it was fine now I'm going to be using this paper that I used to make the album I gifted them and I know that it has like pink bows and stuff like that and they are having a little boy but since it's a blue background I thought it would go fine with it I have this leftover QB mayonnaise um, packaging and I just thought it was so cute with that little baby, so I thought I would use it to make a pocket. So I did cut off the top because it was too big. And then I did also cut off some of the bottom because it was still too big to my liking. Later on, you'll see me put some washi tape where I do cut the bottom so that it could close and be a little pocket. I set the little pocket aside and I start working on my background. Now I personally don't mind the white space in the background for my layouts, but I know some people do not like any white, uh, white space, so they like to cover it all. I left some because I like it and I just write on it. I think I say this in every journal with me video or any journal video, but that's what I love about journaling, that you can do Whatever you like, whatever is best for you is perfect. There is no right or wrong way to journal. Some people uh, put a lot of writing. Other people do art. Other people do a lot of collaging. Whatever works for you, whatever you like is perfect. There's nothing worse than your project falling apart. So I never just trust the tape. I always add some liquid glue to it so it doesn't fall apart and although this is my own thing and it's my own journal and nobody's really going to flip through it except me i still want it to be you know put together for when i do flip through it now i'm using this i'm not sure if the correct word is gingham i might be wrong but if i'm wrong correct me um, and i got this in a patreon happy mail from thrifty day so i thought it went perfect with this spread since they are having a little boy Oh my gosh, after taking like a gajillion hours to cut every single one of these pictures because I was too lazy to get up and go get my trimmer on the other side of the room. Does that ever happen to anyone? Or is it just me? <laughs> after cutting out all these pictures, I knew where this one was going to go because I wanted it to be like in the forefront, like main, the piece de resistance, um, because it is the one where we are in a group, which is like the mom, the dad, my mom, my cousin, and my sister. So I wanted this picture to be like in the front as a focal point. And then in the back of that little telegram um, postcard, I did put a picture of mom and dad. Then I go back and add another picture. I use a little bit more of that gingham. It turned out a little bit too long, so I did cut it off a little. And look how cute. Now, last time, I don't know if you saw my... Um, design team project for Lace Boutique 1 but I made these tags and ever since I made this one I knew that I wanted to use it for the day I made the baby shower spread. I just think that little turtle is so cute. I don't know it just brings like baby memories to me so I knew I wanted to use that so I did bring it out to use it. As a crafter especially if you've been crafting for a while you do collect a whole bunch of things so journaling is one way to use all those little bitty things you have like washi tape for example whenever i do a journal spread i try to use as much washi as i can because i have so much washi i think that's one of the things i have the most of although i did get rid of a whole bunch and my collection went down to like maybe 300 rolls, I wanna say. I'm still trying, you know, to use up as much as I can. Now, like I told you guys, I don't mind the white space in the background, but I am gonna use some of the pictures as a background paper 
sort of and again here I am using the washi I chose this um, gold and white polka dot washi that I got at Michael's remember I haven't been to Michael's in ages guys but they had these boxes that they were selling I believe it was a recollection brand and you would get like I don't know 15 washi rolls maybe 20 and they would be themed and others would not be themed they would be like patterns well this was one of those from one of the boxes I bought many years ago so anyways guys that is pretty much it for my uh, spread. I think it turned out so cute. Thank you so, so much for hanging out. I hope that you guys liked this video. And if you haven't yet, subscribe and join our tiny family. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. Thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.